Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. I'm a UX design lead um, with OpenMRS working as part of Sunder Design Collective. Uh, and today I'm really excited to share with you um, an update, this design bulletin on um, the OpenMRS 3.x design system, the work we've been doing throughout uh, this year on um, design components and design patterns um, for our reference application, and also share a little bit about um, some of the upcoming features and upcoming um, work we'll be doing in 2022. So let's jump in. First of all, um, what is a design system? Basically, it's a collection of reusable components um, guided by clear standards uh, that can be assembled together to build new features um, for OpenMRS. Um, and this basically forms the, um, the um, flow of this presentation. I'm gonna walk you through some of the components that we've been working on this year and um, how the standards defined in IBM's carbon design system um, guide the um, feature development process for OpenMRS, share some of the new features we've been working on uh, and then uh, sketch out what 2022 will look like for us. So first of all, on our um, reusable components, a lot of the components um, are built uh, or kind of come out of the box um, from Carbon Design System. Um, and this is IBM's um, open sourced design system um, designed for data heavy apps uh, in the IBM product suite, um, but they've open sourced it and um, encourage other organizations um, to use it. It has a particular emphasis or it's particularly useful for white labeled uh, applications or apps that um, need to be themed um, for different organizations. Um, so a lot of the components uh, that you see on screen here, like input um, fields, selection components, data table components, these are all what we get um, for free, if you like, um, when working with, um, with OpenMRS. Another huge, um, advantage that we get um, by working with carbon design is the graphing library um, that comes with it so this allows us um, from a design perspective to um, mock up data visualizations um, quite quickly and then from a development perspective um, the um, graphing library allows developers to implement these um, data visualizations far quicker um, than um, creating something um, custom from the beginning um, then we have our own OpenMRS um, components. So these are custom components um, designed to solve OpenMRS specific problems. Um, and the process for creating these components uh, starts on tablet. Um, and then we um, conduct usability testing um, sessions remotely with OpenMRS users around the world to validate that approach on tablet and on desktop. And then we integrate them into our OpenMRS design system. So. What you can see on the screen here is just a, a quick selection of uh, some of the components that we have. We have um, components that allow uh, us to display the vital signs of a patient in uh, different configurations when there's vital signs that have uh, abnormalities in them. You can see then some generic components like our content switchers here in the middle with the left section, middle section, right section. We have some drug components uh, beneath that, how, they, how drugs display um in various different places across the app um we have some validation um components on the bottom left um for when working with long clinical forms so these are just a small selection of our components um that make up the open mrs uh, design system and the carbon design system works uh in tangent with the open mrs design system to give us um components that allow us to quickly create and try out um, new screens, new features, new flows um, with users before we move um, from pixels to code. Um, and many of these components we put together into what we call tiles uh, or cards using uh, other terminology, which amounts to um, widgets or apps inside of um, OpenMRS. So you can see here we have our um, active medications, uh, tile, the vitals tile with the um, blood pressure graph, and you can just see the beginning then of the recent results um, tile. So this allows us from a design perspective to very quickly try out new ideas, put visualizations in front of users and get their feedback 
um, on, on how things are, are working and whether there's information missing um, before we uh, move on to more high fidelity um, prototypes. The design components, um, as I mentioned with carbon, uh, have an emphasis on being themable. So this allows us to um, change colors uh, of certain elements um, to quickly spin up um, versions of the reference application for organizations that have different brand colors. Um, and using the carbon um, color palette, we can ensure that any of the um, color changes that we make still have accessibility at their core, that it's going to pass color contrast um, requirements and, and things like that. So about the standards um, of the OpenMRS design system, this year we've put a lot of time into documenting um, some of the specific components um, that we created for OpenMRS 3.x. So um, we have documentation for how the patient header should work, how we've adapted content switchers from the carbon design library to better meet the needs um, of OpenMRS. Uh, we, and all of this documentation is um, uploaded currently on our new OpenMRS Zeppelin space, um, which really is the, the focal point for the uh, collaboration between uh, the design team here at Sunder Collective and the OpenMRS design, uh, OpenMRS developers uh, around the world. Some of the new features that we've been working on this year um, from a reference application perspective include uh, offline mode, allowing community healthcare workers to um, conduct their work uh, on a tablet uh, outside of the clinic and then to sync that uh, data back with the online version of the patient chart when they've returned uh, to the clinic or when they um, next come online. We've been working recently on service delivery queues, uh, allowing clinics to prioritize patients that are coming into the uh, clinic and move patients through different um, statuses based on the patient journey um, at various clinic types. Um, Non-communicable diseases um, has been a lot of the work we've been focusing on uh, in Q4 of this year, um, working on features and, and widgets that enable um, providers um, to provide care for um, diabetes patients, mental health patients, uh, hypertensive patients and things like that. And we're also looking now um, at how we can um, create clinical form patterns um, inside of the pa in, inside of a workspace, which allows um, users to input data into a structured form while also consuming data um, from elsewhere in the patient's chart. From a design systems perspective, um, what we hope to, to move towards in uh, early 2022 is looking at productizing uh, the design system. So up until now, we've been using the design system uh, internally with the design team here in Sunder Collective. And now we want to shift to a, a place where we can um, productize the uh, OpenMRS design system, merging it with the uh, carbon design system and then working to distribute that uh, design system to other organizations around the world who uh, want to be able to use these UX um, patterns and best practices um, in their mock-ups and kind of instituting this um, process of usability testing and user research um, in many other organizations around the world. In order to achieve this, we hope to um, improve the documentation um, of the components, the guidelines that we have um, for the OpenMRS um, components with online documentation, including live coded examples um, within the documentation, building upon the good foundation that we have um, in Zeppelin, um, but finding a solution that will work um, across platforms, across operating systems um, to help other designers and developers um, collaborate together. Um, and I think now we're at a place where we need to look at versioning uh, the design system, where we have um, new components being added, older components being um, deprecated, and how we can create uh, a process um, for that to be managed in a centralized way uh, and then distributed to other organizations around the world. So that's everything uh, I have to share today. I hope you have uh, a great rest of the OpenMRS uh, conference and I'm looking forward uh, to being on some calls with all of you uh, in the upcoming weeks and, and continuing our collaboration on into 2022.